Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today, I don't have a VR headset on. I have an augmented reality device called the Magic Leap One. And what this device has is what's called Lightwear, which is this device right here. It's also got its own little uh, computer. It's it's kind of a heavy battery, but this this little computer here is what powers all the experiences. It's prior to playing this particular application, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool technology. Yeah, I guess it's fun. Uh, but this particular application in my cluttery house works fantastic. And I wanted to kind of capture the gameplay on this um, so that you can see how challenging your living room and kitchen can be guiding what's basically the Lunar Lander rockets uh, from the old PC or arcade game Lunar Lander. So I'm going to turn my head because the game uh, launch pad is right over here. Alright, so this game was made by Weta Game Shop, a division of Weta Workshop. And Dr. Gordbort's Boosters is the title. And I'm setting a launch pad in front of me in my kitchen. And the goal here is to collect gubbins and return to the launch pad to bank your score if you want to. Now what's a gubbin, you might ask? As I pan my... Uh, oh! That was uh, a little destructive. And you can see the flames. Let's try again. The challenge we have is that Gubbin is near a wall, and as you can see, the wall prevents the ship from catching the- oh! As you can see, I can also hit the ceiling there. So here's where the, the Gubbins shine, because they're in kind of an open space, but as you can see, even that plant there has some collision detection. So having more stuff in my house makes it actually more challenging of a game. Also, you can see the little bit of a flaw there. Um, at least within the glasses, the ship gets a little bit more translucent as it gets closer to the brighter light of outside. But I love that you can see like the graphic of the, the flame as I get close to an object like that. Boom! Set part of my living room on fire. Alright, let's try. I think I got 36 in my high score on this so far. Wow. Now what I like is the gubbins are pretty plentiful, so if you just kind of hover over a specific space, you can see more of them materialize. Wow. Maybe we don't die first. So listen, that one's a little dangerous, but we got there. Oh! And we've crashed do one more round here, but I think you get the general idea now. I'm 
we uh, hit the chandelier. And so far, of all of the experiences I've tried on the Magic Leap 1, this is the one that's most wowed me as far as the presence, because it doesn't do an actual, like, scan the whole room, make your house into a play space deal that a lot of other augmented reality products do. Um, it just works. Um, and kind of in an almost real-time sense is scanning the house. Oops. And we've crashed again. I do want to get to one where we can land on the landing pad so we can end the game. So we'll just go grab one gubbin. Maybe two. And we'll uh, gently land on the landing pad. Maybe. There we go. So as you can see, score of two. What a great score. The other thing that's kind of fun that the uh, rocket can do is if you take off and land on the ground, it plants its own little flag. So that was a quick look at Dr. Gordbort's boot... As I hit the... Uh... Yeah. Dr. Gordbort's boosters. Tons of fun. I, I I can't get over how immersive this experience is. Uh, I when I got the Magic Leap one, I tried a couple of other things, which which I'll be showing also on the channel in, in the in the coming weeks and months. But this one really blew me away, especially with how it deals with physical objects in the world. Um, and I don't think you could see it in the video very well, but this is the controller. Um, this particular controller is a sixed off controller so as I move it around in the world it is tracking it it's not like the daydream wand even though it kind of looks like it it's got it's got a bumper and a trigger it's got a home button and a touchpad fantastic stuff uh, I really enjoy this particular experience um, because it, it it sends a message to me of what you can do with augmented reality in a gaming environment or an entertainment environment. Um, this is just as immersive to me as some of the virtual reality experiences that I've tried on multiple headsets. I'll be back with more VR and AR content in the future, including a comparison between this device, the Magic Leap 1, and the Enreal Light. Uh, I have ordered many months ago the Enreal Light developer kit. Uh, that device uses a different type of augmented reality system, mechanism. It uses what's called bird bath, whereas this uses what's called waveguide. So I'll be able to talk a little bit about the differences between the two of those as well. I'm going to have more content from the Magic Leap 1, uh, probably more this week actually, and then sprinkled through videos uh, in the future like I normally do. If you have any questions about this device or are curious about some of the applications that are available exclusively on Magic Leap, let me know in the comments and I'll try to feature what you're asking about first um, because these devices are pricey. Uh, I got one thankfully from another uh, VR and AR enthusiast for a very reasonable price. Retail cost for this is around $2,400 or $2,300. I don't know that I'd pay $2,300 for it um, for my use. It's more of an enterprise device at this point. So if you're doing a training tool or um, using it for an enterprise application, by all means, this is probably something that's practical and have to say super lightweight, super easy to put on and wear. If you're using it like I am as kind of an entertainment and curiosity device, probably not worth that amount. 
you may want to wait for devices like the Shadow Creator devices that are coming out later this year, or the Unreal Light, which is also coming out later this year, or some of the other multitude of Qualcomm devices that are coming uh, in, in the year, year and a half ahead. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back soon with more content. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR or AR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.